Hey everyone, and welcome back. Today I'll be bringing you three indie games, which I find very compelling, and I'd like to share with you. The first will be Lazy Galaxy Rebel Story, which is a challenging shoot 'em up bullet hell roguelite game developed by Cold Wind Games. And next there will be Das Geisterschiff, a cyberpunk uh, horror dungeon crawler game mixed with a bit of Mech Warrior as well, uh, developed by uh, Cert R. And finally will be Feria's Mine, a tower defense slash city building game uh, developed by Avaft. So first off, we have Lazy Galaxy Rebel Story. This is a shmup, and uh, there is a co-op mode as well, but we'll be playing single player for today, and I'll be playing in story mode because I'm not very good at this kind of game, and if you've already uh, checked out my channel before and the other shmups that I've covered so far, uh, you will know that to be 100% true. So let's get started with story mode in which we will do more damage and we'll have more health and uh, I think fewer enemies as well, but not too sure about that. You can start with... A choice of two ships, either a fighter, which is your basic ship, and you have a special ability, which is a frontal shield uh, for you and allies if you're playing co-op, uh, for a limited amount of time. Or you can go with the rock, which is a tougher ship, but moves more slowly. You have a different special move, which is smart countermeasures to destroy incoming bullets. Uh, let's go with the fighter, stick with our standard ship for now. There is a very, uh, it's quite a good story to this, is this game as well. Unusual activity. Unidentified ships. Stop them. Uh oh. Oops. Um. Oh. Love the music so far as well. <laughs> oh boy. I get those coins. Is our special ability, which is the shield right there. We have a second ship as well, but I believe that's unique to story mode, which is the easier game mode. Uh, it was not around when I was playing the standard mode either. Well, what's this? Oh, uh, I have to collect that first, which is a occasionally exploding gun. Sounds great. <laughs> We have rescued Simon. <laughs> Good. Okay, you were a prisoner, alright. Uh, there will be a boss at the end of this at some point, uh, which we'll no doubt uh, face. Whoa. Oh, so many enemies, yikes. Love the aesthetic as well, the backgrounds are great, and the enemy variety is already quite, uh, quite impressive. Whoa. Here we are, and my apologies, the game actually just crashed. That might have been uh, my recording software OBS. Uh, but uh, in any case, we're back to where we were. Uh, slightly different background, but uh, same point in the story. And, uh, it's kind of nice, actually, because we get to uh, see a totally different background and some new music as well. <laughs> music is fantastic so far. Whoa, boy. We also picked up a different weapon this time instead of occasionally exploding bullets. Which I think we had last time it is a shotgun. So there is quite a bit of weapon variety as well, it seems. Ooh. Ah, this is the boss, I think. Not sure. Weapons locked. Huh? Fire at will, yes, I I, I agree. <laughs> Shoot. Oh boy. friends didn't do so well. Hey! Never mind, we did it! Oh, and you get a choice of six. Wow, that's actually a lot of choice. Uh, Berserker, damage dealer, Simon's damage up by 50%, movement speed, score junkie, not really sure. Um, 
since we're on story mode, let's go with Berserker. Let's let's go nuts. <laughs> Approaching the planet. Enter the outer level atmosphere, huh? All right. Oh, whoa. -oh. Sending the hunter type ship to intercept us, huh? Long range lasers. Don't like the sound of that. Whoa. Oh. Okay, that's what they mean by long range lasers. I see. Shotgun's actually quite nice. There's a lot of damage. Whoa. Ah. Could probably use my special ability like that, but eh. Still learning. Oh boy. I can't get these coins. <laughs> I see the red, the initial thin red lines is just an indicator of uh, where the laser is going to be. Okay. I see. Hey! Going pretty well. He rescued somebody else. Gustav. Gustav von Nissenberg. <laughs> or Nissenberg. <laughs> Oh, lasers. Oh boy. Whoa. <laughs> that was close. Oh, the enemies come from behind as well. Sneaky. Uh-oh. Wow, we are dangerously low on health. <laughs> oh, that's not good. <laughs> Whoops. Hey, we unlocked some weapons. Okay, good to know. We damaged the boss by 0%. So we basically did nothing. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this uh, short preview of a Lazy Galaxy Rebel story. Uh, the game is uh, currently available on Steam, and this has been the demo. And now we have Das Geister Schief, uh, which is a, as you can tell, a sort of dungeon crawler uh, slash cyberpunk game in which you are actually a uh, mech warrior of some kind or mechanical being some kind and you basically fight your way through the dungeon. This is currently the demo, uh, the link to which will be in the video description should you wish to check this game out. Let's start a new game and we will go straight to the campaign. 2072 AD, Earth has turned into a scorched wasteland. Brightest and richest of mankind had no choice but to leave to colonize other planets. Others were forced to move to the underground tunnels and spend the rest of their lives breathing dust. To make matters worse, two megacores are stuck in an endless struggle over territory and resources. In order to try scraping enough funds to get off this rock, you applied to Brightcore Combat Unit as an RCS robotic combat suit pilot. Pass a short test, huh? All right. The warehouse. And retrieve the shipping data. <laughs> Go to the parking lot for extraction. All right. Okay, mysterious stranger. Ooh. And the interface is quite cool indeed. So let's move forward here. As you can see, this is very old school dungeon crawler as well. And the combat is turn-based too, which is quite interesting. And we will bash down this door. We currently have an SMG submachine gun equipped, as you can see in the bottom right corner. And we'll navigate around here. Ooh, enemy. No, friendly. All right. <laughs> okay. Right. Well, that's why you go to training school. <laughs> okay, so now what? Music is quite cyberpunky as well. Hey, we're now in the warehouse. Excellent.
But we have now infiltrated the warehouse and it's like a force field here. Let's actually analyze this. Never mind. I guess we can't. <laughs> Uh, I don't want to attack the door, I want to use it. Access denied, huh? Okay, guess I'm not going this way. Ah, there we go. Oh! That was a mine which did damage to me, so that's unfortunate. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, the aesthetic is quite fantastic, actually. <laughs> Enemy. Oh. Combat mode. Okay. So the enemy just shot us, and now I will attack. Uh, unknown enemy. Actually, can I analyze it first? Gotta analyze. Okay. Maybe he's too far away. Let's shoot him. Boing. Alright, we did about 21% damage. And I think they missed as well. So let's uh let's move closer. There we go. Oh, the enemy's running away. Ah, now we can see what it is. Now can we analyze? There's the chess. Alright, accuracy evasion, wait, cool. How about drone manufactured? The AI is rather simple. Oh, it's cheap. Okay, that makes sense. Who <laughs> was drone? <laughs> All right. So let's attack it. Bing, bing, bing. Wow. Almost dead. Reloads weapon, and this should do it. Oh, 4% health left. Never mind. Enemy is crippled. Perfect. There we go. Target destroyed. And let's actually reload our gun now. Rather than waiting for combat, I believe we have a laser. We do. And assault rifle, wow. And a bazooka. Ooh. Alright, let's take the assault rifle. Oh boy. <laughs> Probably stop walking on these mines, hmm? Upgrade found. Landmine defense, cool. That would be very useful. <laughs> There's a whole bunch of weapons and upgrades and stuff in this game, which is really, really good. Um, oh boy. Um, let's actually analyze this. Landmine. Alright, can I shoot it? Let's actually not use our submachine gun. Uh, I mean, our assault rifle. Let's use our submachine gun. Boom. Perfect. I think that still did damage to us though, because we're standing too close. What's that on the floor? Ooh, access card. Good. So it's level 8. Let's stand back and shoot the mine. There we go. That's better. The sound design is also very good. Oh boy. Um. Oh. <laughs> Should have looked behind me there before walking back. Alright, let's actually... That, there we go. Also disabled a jammer, which was mentioned before, so that's good. Ah, we did it. Excellent. Hey, you found an upgrade, that's good.
Let's travel to the streets. Even though there are hostiles nearby. <laughs> oh. Enemy. Can I actually get data on it? Maybe analyze the enemy? In progress, alright. Uh, let's equip our assault rifle. Shoot the enemy. Ooh. Quite a bit of damage. And the music changed to something quite cool. Oh, it's a mech. Wow. Really? Oh, it did a lot of damage. Wow. Uh. Alright, one more hit should do it. We should be good to go. Wow. That shooting does a lot of damage. Hey. Got him. I really hope there's healing in this game. Because <laughs> it doesn't seem like it so far. Maybe it's hidden or something like that. Uh, now, how do we get to the parking lots? Hmm. I actually don't know. I really like this sort of cyberpunky music as well. Oh, light armor plate, good. That would have been good uh, before the fights, of course, but whatever. friendly okay it took so long all right sorry I was uh held up a little bit hey oh, good job agent yeah I'm not so sure <laughs> we survived that's the important thing Well, I hope you've enjoyed the demo of... Well, I hope you've enjoyed the demo of Das Geist der Schief. Again, the game is uh, currently available in a demo form for free if you wish to try it out. And this game is fantastic, so I encourage it. The link will be in the description uh, below. And finally, for today, we have Feria's Mine, which is a tower defense slash uh, sort of city building uh, game. Here we go, the Kingdom of Feria. Just a few years ago, it was an old castle in the middle of nowhere. Few travelers set foot on its land. In fact, few, few people ever heard of its name. All of that changed when a quarry miner stumbled upon a glittering rock underground. Prospectors soon revealed shocking news. Underneath Feria Castle is a gigantic gold deposit. Woohoo! The kind of which never before heard of in history. The gold mine promises prosperity for the citizens of Feria for generations to come, but along with it are unwanted attentions. Whispers of Feria's discovery soon reached neighboring counties, who basically wanted to invade and uh, take over the mine. In the end, how much of the mine's gold will Feria manage to keep for themselves? That's your job, as the player. <laughs> the mine's deposit is not endless and will run out eventually, and you basically uh, Try to have as much gold as possible by the end of the game. Uh, you can build taverns to hire heroes and defend against enemies. Um, and let's actually show you instead of explaining to you. So here we have our kingdom of Feria here with our 
gold mine and the castle on top. And we'll, we will be progressively invaded by enemies from different regions. So first from the uh, Rahazak Desert. Uh, not too difficult enemies to start. As you can see, there's a little bowman who will start to attack us and to defend our kingdom. We need to build a tavern. Uh, increasing the tavern's level will mean that it can spawn one additional unit, and the salary will increase the unit's quality, so it'll be a much stronger unit, let's say a, a knight instead of a bowman or a simple swordsman. So let's uh, level up a little bit. In the bottom left we can see our gold, that's our income, as well as our salary. So obviously you want the income above your salary at all times, and to do that you upgrade your Old mine, I was about to say, but we're going to be invaded by the Rebels of the Moonlight Forest next, so we need to build a tavern right here, and level it up a little bit, and we will upgrade our mine to gain more gold and mine faster. Obviously you want this to be as high level as possible to get the most income. Now, let's get level 5 if we can, just to get 5 units. Let's upgrade this to level 5 as well, and that should do for now. Because these enemies are quite weak in the beginning, but as we get invaded by different regions, say the eastern shores, by pirates, or maybe the Mystic Mountains, or this place that I can't pronounce, uh, it will get a little bit more difficult to manage our income and our salaries so that we uh, still end up making money and don't just lose the game <laughs> by not being able to hire any units. Uh, so let's see, can we? We can. Let's upgrade our mine a little bit more. Uh, there is a maximum level that your taverns can reach. Uh, I think it's level 8 or 9, but I'm not quite sure. I'm assuming we'll find out fairly soon. Oh, being invaded from this place. <laughs> and they are aggressive, and they are relentless with their axe. Alright. Let's build a tavern quickly. To level 5, so we get 5 units. And here we can see our little units are coming out to face our foe. And ooh, they're not doing so well. I want to upgrade their quality a little bit, so... Get some more swordsmen and maybe some horsemans as well. How are you guys doing? Oh, you guys are fine. Ah, oh, there he is. See, we have a horseman. So obviously that's a much more powerful unit. Can't see quite how powerful, but seems to mean that they are more powerful. And we get some pirates next. So let's build a tavern here. And level it up to level 5. And increase the salary. Eh, I think 300 should do. Uh, you can adjust your salary at any time, of course, if you lower it too much, uh, some of your units might disappear because they're not being paid enough. <laughs> Which makes perfect sense. Let's increase salary a little bit here, just in case. And that should be good. Let's actually, since we have a lot of money, let's upgrade our mine twice. Whoa, what happened? Uh, oh, I think because we ran out of money. <laughs> oh no, stop looting. Alright, let's start again. See, if you're not careful, you spend too much money. That's what can happen. There we go. There we go. We got plundered a little bit, but uh, we should be okay nonetheless. Greater, never mind, we can't. Ooh, let's actually lower our salary a bit. Because uh, our income... Yeah, sorry about that. Because our income is too low. There we go. That should do. There we go, okay. There's a little bit of management here. Uh, obviously you want to balance it better than I have, but that's the general idea. If you keep an eye on your finances, you should be okay. So far, so good. Yeah, I guess, uh, I guess salary's not that important right now. Uh, good to have the more powerful units. Uh, maybe we're gonna wait till we have some more money, though. Let's upgrade that. Uh, let's pop down these taverns here, just so we get a few units around, uh, in time for the inevitable invasion from these other regions that we haven't heard from quite yet, but they'll want to plunder our mines soon enough. <laughs> go. And on the bottom right here we can see our uh, sort of time to 
completion of the game, let's say. So there's uh, about 500,000 gold remaining in the mine, and uh, once this level reaches zero, there'll be sort of a final gold rush where there will be enemies, more enemies from every single region attacking you, and then the game will end, and hopefully you have uh, amassed quite a bit of gold, as you can see in the bottom left here. And the goal is obviously to be as rich as possible by the end. <laughs> why, why wouldn't it be? Let's upgrade our mine. Yeah, let's keep everything as is. I was going to mess with the tavern level. You can't decrease the level, though, so I think... Let's decrease that salary a little bit. Yeah, seems okay. Oh, we can get some more. Perfect. Alright. invaded from the Mystic Mountains, not the Misty Mountains from Lord of the Rings. <laughs> and they are magic beings, so let's quickly level up our tavern and increase the salary a little bit. I believe these units are quite powerful. Whoa, there are quite a few of them. Oh, and the Holy Kingdom of Judan as well is invading. Wow. Let's level that up. Increase the salary. Whoa. Let's actually level everything up a little bit more. Aw. Alright. Get some powerful units from this tavern, shall we? Oh boy, wow. It's quite tricky. Oh wow, they're we're getting plundered like crazy. Alright. Ah, uh, level 7 is the max level, okay. That makes perfect sense. There we go. Now we have everything maxed out just in time for the uh, oncoming final gold rush. So let's see if we can survive. <laughs> Try to accumulate as much gold as possible uh, before the game ends. Ooh, there we go. Final gold rush. Okay. Hey! The mine's gold was not endless, and inevitably came the day when its veins ran dry. Much was lost during the wars, but it wasn't all for naught. With the remaining gold and given some time, maybe future generations wouldn't have to re relive the hardship their parents had to endure. And well, that's going to be it for Fairy is Mine. Hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, the link to this demo version will be in the video description should you wish to check it out for yourselves and enjoy a, uh, a very fun uh, tower defense game. Well, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed these uh, three awesome indie games which I've uh, brought to you today. If you have, please feel free to leave a like, as well as a comment if you have any recommendations of other uh, indie games I should check out for a future episode. Please subscribe if you'd like to see uh, more of this kind of thing, and if you're already subscribed, I will see you in the next video.